How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit more production quality that I've been trying to put in. It's gonna be a little bit in this video, but uh, it is gonna be more of like a classic kind of vloggy shot sort of thing. But we are working on the Miata, as the title states. This is gonna be a controversial one. And I'll start it off by saying that I'm no stranger to cutting into metal. I've cut my fenders off and put the rally backer over fenders on. I've cut giant holes in my hood to put hood vents in. And I've cut my fenders already and put in these awesome fender vents. So if you're upset, all of this is already ruined anyways. So we're gonna ruin it even more. Recent Japan pickup, got these imported uh, today they came in. These are a set of Yunos Roadster side marker lights and we're gonna have to do something with the bulbs. So in this video, we're not gonna be installing bulbs, but we are gonna be installing the units themselves. It's got a weird little like three prong kind of bulb socket and I couldn't find them anywhere online. So I ordered some universal sockets that should fit just fine. But these are on the JDM style uh, fenders and basically they go right here. So I think that'll look pretty cool. It's classic Roadster style, you know, kind of going off the tail lights that we already did. If you haven't seen these videos, go check them out. We put the NA style tail light lenses into the NC housings. So I think overall, these will work. We need to drill into the fender. Shouldn't be too hard. I just need to make a template, mark everything really nicely. But I think a little accent on the front fender is gonna really set the car apart and make it look different. So I think I'm really only gonna need like my drill. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to like Dremel anything out, but I should be able to just file the metal. It's pretty thin on the fenders. So should be able to drill, make some cutouts on where they sit in and then click in. Um, and then once I get the bulb sockets in, we'll wire them up and everything. But like I said, this video is just gonna be installing them because wiring is really boring to watch. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just boring. In the next video, I'll turn them on with the turn signals and you guys can see them, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put the camera down and um, yeah, start drilling. Don't be afraid, I've done this before. Trust me, I think it's gonna look good. So the first hole is drilled. It uh, came out pretty clean. I put a little bit of paint on the inside. You guys continue, some of you at least, continue to rip me on the uh, fenders on the back, but they're not rusting. I did this, so please don't say anything. Just leave me alone. But it is the right size. It fits nicely in there. So now I need to make cutouts for this little top clip in this little bottom guide right here. And once that's in, I should be able to slide it in, click it into place, and uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a side marker. Not functioning yet, but we'll have a side marker. I did my best as far as like a template goes. Um, I just 
a lot of reference pictures. I want to make sure it is pretty much center of the fender right here. Right here is where it goes flat, so it's not curved. So this is flat, pretty much centered here. And then the fender, top of the wheel well, goes above it. So this is basically where it should be on a Japanese car. It's close as I'm gonna get it. So uh, gonna mark the bottom, cut that part out. I ground down more of this bottom half because there's one more piece that basically kind of clips in. So you'll take this, pop it in, and then it should clip in. But now there's a couple more edges here that I need to get. So I'm gonna mark these, grind down those, but we're very close, like very, very close. The only thing holding it now is these two little side bits. All right, so we're all uh, all cut and everything, and I'm pretty sure we're ready to give this a shot. Um, everything fits the way it should fit. So, we just slide it in here. Bottom lines up, sides line up. It's a tight fit, but this, as long as this little lip catches the inside, which it does, we are in business. That was easy to put in. Once you get everything all cut, it's all sealed around the edges. Nice. I dig it. I like it. I like that quite a lot. Very cool. All right, let's, uh, let's get some shots of it. I am very happy with how this turned out. It's exactly what I pictured. I've wanted to do this for a really long time, just didn't really know how to go about getting these exact ones. I know you could probably just stick like reflectors on it if you were like trying to just get the look, but I wanted OEM, I wanted them to fit in the fenders, and I figured my fender's already cut, I'll, I'll do it, I'll go for it. And I'm super happy that I did. I just think it looks really like classic roadster euro jdm kind of stuff and it works i i think it works and we have stuff like the amber fogs and these are the fog light bezels that are jdm euro spec so the theme matches it's supposed to look this way i know this isn't going to be for everyone and yeah it you know it makes the fender like look a little different compared to just a clean line but I like it. I think it looks good. So I'm gonna knock out the other side. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna film it. I already filmed enough of this. A lot of process talking you guys through it. And uh, I, like I said, I'm happy with how this turned out. I think it makes the car look way more unique. It's not gonna look anything like any other NC Miata on the road or at any meet or anything like that. Yeah, it is left-hand drive still. I'm not gonna do a right-hand drive conversion, but I'm into the Japanese stuff and the Euro stuff. And I just like, the styling that you get overseas knowing that other people don't have it here so it's super cool to me and i'll just get that bulb plugged in should be easy to do i should just take off the fender liner and reach in and pop it in and then i'm going to connect it up to the turn signals but like i said that's just a wiring video and that's kind of boring so stay tuned for the next video which is going to be on the nylex knuckle bracing um, i've been working on that trying to make it a little cinematic kind of thing so interesting to watch and follow along but otherwise I'm gonna close the video out here. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below if you liked this, 
and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.